What's up? 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 What's going on, Sunseeds? What's going on? Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. You know, to the ones who celebrate it. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Divine, my ancestors of the highest white light. My spirit guides, my holy angels. Um, Angel Michael, please protect me while I child in the energy for the collective Sunseeds. Anything other than the highest white light, please close, shut, and block that door. Yes, Happy Thanksgiving, Sunseeds, to the ones who celebrate it. I know it's early, but... I ain't gonna, I'm gonna probably get to read it out in a couple of hours because I know y'all probably. But some of y'all probably up right now prepping. I know I ain't the only one. I know I ain't the only one. <laughs> let's see. Let's get you guys some messages. Oh, Angel Michael, please guard the doors that I'm opening up. Lonely and lonely. Thank you, Archangel Michael. I just seen the world card in Black Magic. I seen the world card in the Karmic Storm. So some type of curse has been broken. The, the storm is over with. Yeah, I'm hearing joy. Somebody's name could be Joy. Holy Spirit, give me some messages for the faith of Sunday. Please and thank you. I heard weeping only lasts for one night, though. Okay. Oh. Weeping only lasts for one night, though. Holy Spirit. <laughs> Ace of Swords. Breaking generational curses. You guys broke some type of broke some type of generational curse over your bloodline. Venus. Love and beauty. Yeah. When it comes to love, abundance, money, marriage, friendships, relationships. Um, yeah, all of that is attracted to you right now. Mm-hmm. You broke some type of generational curse. Yeah. Ace of Swords. They have some type of truth or breakthrough here for you. Good news. Yeah, you, you guys did a lot of shadow work on yourself. Congratulations, Sunseed. Yeah, I can't make it up. Pluto transformation. Yeah, it's time to be happy now with the Sun card. Somebody could be 32 watching. Somebody's lineage, some somebody lineage, somebody's somebody's um somebody's ancestors, they're proud of you. Yeah, we have crossroads, first card out, and new love. Hmm. So you guys could have had to make a decision, Sunsies, on you know what path or what direction um you know to go down. You guys chose a, a um you chose a, a healthy path. You, Whatever the decision was, it definitely uh, it helped you break some type of generational curse. And now love, money, abundance, you know, good news, beauty, all of those things are attracted to you. Like it's giving like some type of glow up. There's a new chapter. Um, There's a new chapter in your life where you're barking down right now. Mm-hmm. Maybe you was um, stuck at a crossroads for a while, searching for a solution, you know, a fork in the road, like which way to go. You could have even felt stuck at um, at one time. But yeah. I heard weeping only lasts for one night. Joy. So I see this over now. It's over. You did the, yeah, your Kashi records is open to you. Yeah. It's over now, Sunseeds. So Welcome to your new beginning. You did the work. I can't make it up. Flood gains. You did the work. Abundance, success, prosperity, support, good news, solid, blessings, wish granted, angel guidance, manifestations, wealth. You did it, Sunseed. You did it. Give me more, Holy Spirit. There's new love here for you, okay? Akashi Records wanted to come back out. There's new love. There's a soulmate connection here that's going to be full with um, balance. Okay, a lot of harmony, great chemistry, 
Um, someone who you're going to build a strong bond with. Two more, Holy Spirit. Yeah, look at this. Ace of Earth. And Sacral Chakra. Mm -hmm. You guys are tapped into your sacral energy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If there was any blockages surrounding your sacral, um, where, you know, where it kept you down, where you couldn't create, uh, yeah, all of that is changing. Look, it says sacral chakra, emotionally, cent uh, emotionally centered creativity and joy. What did I tell I keep hearing joy. Somebody's name could be joy, but there's joy here for you. Yeah, weeping only lasts for one night. Joy, passion, pleasure, healthy relationships, intimacy, self-expression. Yes. Yeah, it's like there's some chain that was broken over you. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Something didn't want to. Something that was on your bloodline and didn't want to let you go. You did it, Mercury. You could have spoke something out with this Mercury communication. This also could have been singing. Somebody could be a singer. Yeah. Communication, intelligence, rational reasoning, practical knowledge. A messenger, a messenger of God and trans, um, transformation. Some of you guys are a messenger for God. You speak the truth. You allow God to use you as a vessel. We have an ace of earth, abundance, stability, solid offer, gift, new job, career, business, promotion, manifestations, um, manifestations, prosperity, material wealth. Congratulations. Yeah, because look at you. You a healer. You a healer. Mm-hmm. You a healer. I heard healer of the sun. Healer of the ages. Wow. I heard healer of the ages. Something was trying to keep you down. Could have been a um, could have been a masculine energy. This even could have been like depression weighing someone down. Someone's current situation, someone's current problems. You know, it could have been trying to like weigh someone down. Yeah, that's could have been the reason why it was hard for you to, you know, to choose. It's even like even feeling foggy, like, you know. You kept going. You broke some type of generational curse on your bloodline. I feel like you guys did a lot of shadow work. And maybe you wasn't seeing the results that you wanted at the time. But whoever you are, I like the fact that you kept going. You kept going. Yeah, a delay was not a denial. Yeah, whoever you are, you're a healer. You have healing energy. You guys could be a Reiki um, healer, a nurse, a doctor, um, a shaman, a wise woman or a man, someone who's very connected to spirit. Um, that's an open channel for others. You definitely could feel energy easily. Solar plexus chakra. Something about your confidence. Yeah, be confident this time. Queen of Cups. Yeah, when it comes to love this time, love. Like I said, it could be romantic, platonic, you know, just meeting new people. You know, this journey of your life, you could be confident that the love is going to be sincere. Okay? King of Swords, that's the truth. I can't make it up. Venus. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm There was some type of inner child wound in here that you had to heal from. Mm hmm Could have been some type of insecurity, abandonment issues, or feeling lost. Some of you guys could have even went through a divorce that put you in a depression where... You know, you could have looked at love, you know, um, a different way. And if it wasn't being married to someone, you could have just been in a commitment with someone that could, you could have felt like really betrayed you. And it, it almost tried to like take your outlook, how you view love. But no, you just had to heal, baby. You just had to heal. Yeah, there's an empire here for you. Someone you're going to build an empire with. Yeah, a lot of you guys went in solitude. Yeah, a lot of you guys want in solitude. Yeah, look, solitude and chosen. Oh, child. Solitude and chosen. Yeah, you guys did that, baby. Yeah, I did that. A lot of you guys was in hermit, soul searching, you know, connecting to um, nature. You know, just took a pause, on, you know, a, a pause, you know, time apart from, you know, the world. You know, the worldly things. You know, you took a break. 
you went in silence and, you know, got yourself centered and grounded and started doing some soul searching. Yeah. And whoever you are, um, chosen one, it puts you on this divine mission. Now you guys are, you know, um, living in your divinity, you know, being authentic, you know, showing up as a leader or a guide and, you know, um, to your family, you know, to your community, to your neighbors, to your friends, to your children, to your grandkids, to your nieces, your nephews, you know, um, however, you know, you allowing, you know, um, God to lead you, you know, to, um, to be used, you know, for your highest good. A lot of you guys are warrior spirits, um, you know, in the spiritual realm. Yeah. You're calling in your strength, connecting with spirit and, you know, whoever you are, um, I'm hearing you in good hands. <laughs> I heard you in good hands. Yeah, lovers. Aries. Somebody could be dealing with Aries. Well, this could just be a divine masculine energy. Yeah, divine feminine. I'm telling you. Akashi Rackets. Yeah. Congratulations. The storm is over. I heard weeping on it last for one night. Holy Spirit, give me some more. What's this Mercury, Holy Spirit? What's this Mercury energy? Oh, the truth. Okay. So Spirit said you're about to receive some type of truth. Some type of truth um, and clarity. There's some type of good news. Yeah. Whatever this communication is, is um, that you're, um, you're going to be receiving, it's going to be good news. Okay. There's a victory here for you. Yeah, spiritual gifts, a Pisces and a U-turn. They could be a Pisces that view you as um, someone who's spiritually gifted. They could be wanting to come back around. Yeah. We have Dark Knight of the Soul and we have Uranus. Hmm. Something going to be happening suddenly. What's the, um, okay, so you got the Ace of Earth, Prosperity, Abundance, Floodgates. It's like divine is literally whoever you are, a whole new world. <laughs> wow. I'm hearing it's only going to keep getting better. Somebody is being spoiled by the divine. Yeah. You're being spoiled by the divine. Like, it's going to be a miracle after miracle after miracle. At least that's how somebody's going to feel. With this sun card, we have, um, yeah, we have um, willpower, um, good health, prosperity, leadership, strength, determination. Something going to feel like a miracle after miracle. Like, somebody's getting blessings after blessings. Yeah, yes, yes, your, your sacred energy is very balanced and very centered. Somebody could have definitely been trying to pull on your sacred energy or attach themselves to your sacred energy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Akashi Records, karmic partner in Mars. Could be a karmic partner trying to attach themselves to someone because they know that their Akashi Records is open to them, trying to attach themselves to somebody's sacral chakra with this Mars here, you know, with this passion. Oh, no. Yeah, Queen of Earth. Because whoever they whoever you are, they view you as someone who um, is going to be very successful, okay, financially stable. A lot of you guys could be already in this energy. Wow, somebody didn't want to, yeah. But anyway, moving on. I'm not, I'm not. Yeah, whoever you are, like, yeah, somebody, somebody tried to do black magic on a light work. Ooh, yeah. How that worked out for you? What's the Ace of Swords, Holy Spirit? <laughs> Spiritually gifted. The moon card. This is divine feminine energy. Okay. Yeah, the, the spiritual gifts, the moon, king of earth. Breaking generational curses. Like this could have even been like um someone coming from a family with a with people, 
you know, they have like um, marriage problems, like where they get divorced or coming from a family with people who suffer from poverty. Um, you know, um, you know, people that that feel you don't feel uh they feel less ambitious you know don't you know not don't feel determined or you know um family members that's not very grounded you know could be feeling scattered it's like you the one who did it yeah moon goddess you could uh resonate with black sheep but whoever you are you are a warrior in the spirit you are strong in the spirit you are fearless you was chosen for this Told you you were chosen for this, huh? See, listen to me, Ace of Cups. Yeah, you was chosen for this. Yep, yeah. you shadow work and break generational curses and spiritual gifts. I can't make it up. Whoever you are, congratulations for doing the work. I know it. I know it wasn't easy, and I know some days you may felt like you didn't know where you was going with this crossroads. You didn't know you whether you was going or coming. But the fact that you didn't give up, the fact that you accepted the mission, the fact that you are aware that you were chosen, and the fact that you fought through this to break this off of your bloodline, kudos to you. Spirit, you gifts, breaking generational curses and shadow. You did that. You did that. Oh, yeah, you did that. And give me messages on shadow, shadow, shadow. Don't let your past hold you back. Your shadow is your south node. Somebody is fully in their north node. Shadow. Ace of fire. Yeah, you get a new beginning, a new passion beginning. A lot of good news. All of these aces out here. You got three aces. <laughs> and you got healer and chosen. Yeah. You did the shadow work so you get this new beginning. You yeah, you make the necessary um steps to you know to grow and change. You accepted the challenge. Yep. Poverty and Saturn. There was some type of karmic cycle that you broke. You did so you broke it over your bloodline. Some of you guys had to deal with certain things that you didn't even sign up for. You didn't know why you was going through this. But you knew people around you and your family was. You, you was the chosen one to break this curse over your bloodline. You was not gonna be the you was not gonna be the next one. Saturn and poverty. Aries. Yeah, you took the action. Aries. You took the action. You made the steps. You was bold. In, you was bold enough. You was brave enough. You was bold enough. You was brave enough to take on all of this on your back. Maybe for things you didn't even sign up for. Things that you didn't even know about. But you were strong enough to do it. Yeah, you were strong enough to do it. Baby. You did that root work. You had to go back to your roots to find out where this problem come from. Why is it even here? And why keep every generation keep going through this? They chose you. And you listen to your instincts. You listen to it. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini. Crown chakra. Yeah. The crown chakra is <laughs> definitely awakening. You got the crown chakra, root chakra, sacral chakra. Yeah. You got your chakras in alignment. You got them balanced. And now your spiritual connection with, with divine is, is, is definitely heightened at this time, okay? You guys are definitely awake and connected to source. You know, that universal um, consciousness yeah, it's, it, it, it's lit right now. You have, yeah. You, you, you're the enlightened one, okay? You're enlightened at this present time. Yeah, here you go, Jupiter. Jupiter and communication. There's a definitely a, um, a divine union that's coming in. And um, with this communication and um, Jupiter, this speaks about good fortune, expansion, success, wealth, higher learning, okay? Um Abstract mind, travel, growth, achievement, and thinking. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, you got Emperor under the bottom with the lovers. King of Pentacles. Someone is coming in. Somebody wants something serious with you. You guys are going to have choices. Yeah, the King of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. 
Something might be hard though. You can maybe have a hard decision. Who you gonna choose? Because whoever I'm picking up on, um, the way how you just the way how you just did a damn thing, it's many options you got. I'm I'm just being honest. Okay? You may have said, you know, you know, you doing the work, you just was, you know, you manifesting just, you know, just a partner, you know, live our life with and you know, y'all both can, you know, build an empire, do the damn thing together. But what you don't know is someone you manifested. You, 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 I don't think you're probably aware of it, but when you did all of this work on yourself, there's a lot of energies, okay, that's going to be attracted to you, okay? Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's going to be people on your vibration, King of Pentacles, Aries. I mean, well, somebody could be an Aries or dealing with an Aries, King of Pentacles, and um, the Emperor, yeah, wealthy bosses, like whew, that's the Jupiter. Communication. Somebody north know could be an Aries. Give me messages. I cannot make it up. <laughs> I'm telling you. A lot of people looking at you as love. Attracted to you. Love. Partnerships. Unity. Love. Like I said, this could be platonic. Um, romantic. But this is Friendships. Um, relationships, you know, um, business partners with the King of Pentacles, you know, divine connections. These are soulmates connections that's coming in. Relationships that's 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 full of harmony and balance, um, equal. You know, there's a lot of proposals, engagements here. Mutual respect. I know that's right. So sweet. They said, "Tell me how you did it. Tell me how you did it." <laughs> Judgment, yeah. Mm -hmm. These are people that's awake, okay? Yeah, renew. This is brand new. I can't make it up. <laughs> Let's see, four ones. Yes, these are. Uh, I'm talking about happy celebrations. Um, happy family. Um, feeling good about yourself. You know, a lot of you guys could be, um, you know, well, tomorrow is Thanksgiving for the ones who celebrate it. You know, coming together with family. Or this could be you coming together, you know, partnering with people that um, you're going to build success with. Um, relationships, romantic relationships, you know, who you're going to build success with, prosperity with. This is also giving me someone feels like they're coming home, like, to um, somebody feels free. they coming home to oneself. The judgment, because I could go deep in depth with this. What I'm feeling. Somebody is awakening to their temple, their house, their body. Somebody became whole. They became whole first. I love that. I heard somebody stepping into their miracles. Give me more Holy Spirit. Something could have happened 18 months ago. Queen of Wands to the hangman. Yeah, you seeing something. You seeing something. You enlightened. Yeah, you enlightened. And you're beautiful. You're loyal. You're confident. You're ambitious. You're a go getter. You're determined. And you enlightened. I had seen a meme yesterday. And it said, you intelligent. You a hustler. You mind your business. And it was something, something else. And it was like, well, damn. <laughs> I just started cracking up. <laughs> Look at my sun seed. Look at my sun seed. I love it for you guys. I love it. Mm -mm. Now be careful. Uh, somebody, um, yeah, uh, be careful with somebody trying to creep back in, okay? Yeah, that could have been, um, you know, that could have been you with that crossroads, you know, um, deciding, you know, on a situation that you had put your time and energy in for a long time. What's a hate man? But you're definitely enlightened with this hangman and queen of wands. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. What's the hate, man? Seven of Swords. Yeah. Yeah, you 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 can see the you can see the deceit, the lies, the trickery. You you can see all of that. You can see when people are being dishonest. What's the seven of swords? The seven of swords energy. Ooh. Yeah, because you can see right through it, it has somebody in regret. Sad. That's what I said. Be careful. Be careful somebody trying to creep back. Uh-uh. 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 Yeah. 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 Somebody's trying to like hold you back. Somebody know about somebody know about this new beginning. Yeah. And they sad because they want to be a part of it. But whoever whoever this person is, you're holding back. You went a whole nother direction. What's the five of cups? They feel they feel the lost of you. Something could have happened six months ago. Give me a card in the judgment. Love and caring, compassionate. There's not one card out here shows that you're bitter, you're you're mad, that you you feel any type of way. It's giving the energy of you still compassionate, you know, towards others, you know, whoever you leaving behind. But you know, um, you know, you, you, your chapter in life, you know, it's it, it, it's done. You know, you did you did whatever you had to do here. Now it's time to with the four of wands to move on with the six of swords, go to other places, other other communities. Do you you being moved, you being moved, branched out. I need you here. I need you here. So somebody has a strong mission. Yeah. And people who once counted you out, yeah. They're upset because they can't lie to you and steal from you and take from you. So a lot of this can be turned into resentment. People could be feeling some type of way. You've been in this empress energy getting justice. But what they say anyway, a prophet is a prophet is not work, welcome in their hometown. Nah. Yeah. Yep. We have the devil, king of pentacles. Somebody can definitely be obsessing or this could be just a, um, a bank load of, of wealth. Because the devil speaks about obsessions. It speaks about a lot. Okay. So this can just be a lot of success, a lot of abundance. Or someone is obsessing over you. What's the devil? The death card. Ooh, chair. Damn, what kind of cards fell out? Oh, damn, somebody mad at him. Yeah, nine of cups in the tower. You getting your wishes is a um is shocking. Cause somebody can't hold you back. Yeah, I can't make it up. Will of Fortune. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. So I see, look at y'all. Will of Fortune, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. And when I said that, my whole half of my deck fell over there. I'm about to say about it is, okay? Will of Fortune, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Yeah, because you now make healthy decisions and choices. You're no longer at a course at a road. Yeah, new beginning. You walked away. Period. Damn, Ace of Pentacles. What you... Let me get out. Listen. Damn. Damn. Let me get some signs, Holy Spirit, for the collective sun seeds as I close this out. First card out is Aries. Cancer. You getting this because some type of action that you guys took. Scorpio. Win, win, win. Capricorn. Virgo. Ooh. Gemini. Okay. Pisces. Okay, Libra and Taurus under the bottom. I love you guys so very much, Sunsies. Until we get up next time, later. And we have Leo. 
Love you.